It's like 55 points the last game, 120, what was it, for this game? Mm -hmm. um, did you guys want to send a message, or was it just, I mean, obviously a different kind of game. But. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, we wanted to come into this game after the last game just as, and play as hard and as well as we could, and um, I don't think we were saying, I'm sorry, let's score that much, but um, when the first quarter and that first 10 minutes, we really kind of um, were just playing really well together, and we were getting really good shots each time, so we kept taking them. How important is it to have Crystal back? I mean, she seemed to get you guys sparked that one behind the back pass to you in the mm. first quarter was kind of cool. Yeah, it's really it's really important to have her back. You know, she does things that no one else on the team can do, and um, just having her out there to kind of control the pace and control the game, it's really helpful. Um, you know, it puts me in a more comfortable position for myself and puts everyone kind of back in their um, like normal spot. Were you ready for that pass? Were you thinking she was? I knew she was gonna. I knew she was gonna pass it because the pass before was amazing to Gabby. And usually when Crystal's not looking at you, you know you're getting the ball. <laughs> so I was I was ready for something, and it was just amazing pass. How did you feel about being a facilitator today? You had nine assists. I think it ties your career high. What were you doing that was working for you today? Um, you know, I think we were just getting um, really good looks, and um, you know, I was in positions to get my teammates the ball and. Um, I tried to get get them um, spots where they could finish and be in good scoring spots. You know, Gina always puts together a non-conference schedule that's kind of a gauntlet, and you guys mm -hmm. finish that up on on Monday against mm -hmm. Louisville, number four. So, um, what do you want to get out of that game? And when you look back at this whole run, non-conference, and all the teams you've played, what do you think that has done for this team? Um, I mean, looking to Monday's game, you know, we definitely want to see where we're at as a team and see. Um, you know, how we compete with some of the best teams in the country. And um, that's kind of what, like you said, what coach tries to do each each year with non-conference, um, put us through games that are going to, you know, have us see early about what we need to fix before going into the later season or the postseason. So, um, you know, this whole beginning of the year and the teams we've played, we've really done a good job at each game getting better. And I think, you know, Louisville will be another test for us to see how we are and where we are. You guys really haven't had a chance to have that huge game this year mm -hmm. at Gamble in front of a home crowd. Mm -hmm. This is kind of that shot. That I think there's like less than 100 tickets left for the for the game. So yeah. um, how do you think the atmosphere is going to prepare you for, you know, the tournament coming up and everything? And It's going to be great. Um, I mean, I did, we're in, after this, we probably won't get a crowd as great as we're going to have Monday night. And so just being able to take advantage of that. And uh, when Gamble's loud, it's really <laughs> it's hard to hear anything in there. And it's probably one of the the best places to play um, in the country when there's that many fans engaged. And I know a lot of um, women's basketball teams don't get that opportunity. And so um, I'm really excited to play in front of our fans. When you're hitting threes like you were today, does the basket seem like it's just as big as can be? Um, I mean, definitely from earlier today, I was shooting really well in, in um, shoot around. And so today, whenever I was, was near open. I tried to take a shot because I felt confident that it that it was going to go in. How much does having Crystal out there just change the complexion of what you guys are capable of, particularly in transition? Mm -hmm. um, I think it just helps us, you know, control um, kind of our pace and um, with her out there on the court um, facilitating everything, it puts everyone else back into their their best positions and the best um, places you know they can contribute. And I think that's a big thing because um, we're confident that she's going to do what she needs to do and. So, well, you know, I don't have to worry about bringing the ball up because I know Crystal's going to get it. I can run out on the floor, and um, I think that's where why our transition was so good today. Do you feel like you personally are just in a, in a great rhythm or groove right now? I mean, you seem to be seeing the court well, whether it's finding spots for yourself to shoot or, or looking for other players. Oh, yeah, I think... Um, I think I've been in a pretty good groove. I think um, this year I've been trying to contribute in any way I can. And, um, you know, we have so many options on our teams to go to that I've been trying to get people the ball uh, where they can score and um, whenever they can. So I think that's one of the biggest reasons for, you know, me making passes like I did today. Um, I'm just trying to get each person and every single person can score on our team. I mean, going into the season, did you figure you were going to be the person driving to the basket, drawing the attention, and then kicking out to FISA for a three-pointer? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever, you know, just plan that. But um, whenever I drive, um, you know, teams, they do that to other people. <clears throat> but when people collapse, we try to kick it out to whoever. And um, right now we have – 
lot of people that can hit shots, which is very <laughs> helpful because it doesn't matter who is in that corner. You know, I know Fee's going to knock down that three just as much as I trust Key or Crystal to do it. When you, when you guys are scoring the way you are, is it an unreal feeling? Or are you just caught up in the moment you don't realize how much you're scoring or is it just an incredible amount of fun? How would you describe a game like today? Um, I think it's really fun and you don't necessarily realize it. Um, I know I didn't see the score at all until you know the um, we sat down for the second quarter to start and so while you're out there you don't really necessarily know what the score is sometimes or um, what's going on but uh, when we're playing like that you can feel the difference out there and um, you can just feel the energy that we have with each other and how excited we're getting for each other.